education. Distract them from learning something which is constructive, pragmatic, efficient. Instead of mathematics, physics, foreign languages, chemistry, teach them history of urban warfare, natural food, uh, <laughs> home economy, your sexuality, anything, as long as it takes you away. Uh, I wonder which uh, our next guest thinks is the right way forward. Let's talk to Chris McGovern. He's uh, in charge of the campaign for real education. Hello, Chris. Hello there. Hi. Uh, what's your feeling about this? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, I, 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 I guess it's a good idea to teach kids about same-sex relationships and LGBT rights, but is it a massive priority? And um, what do you think about Donald Trump saying that he thinks it's more important that kids uh, are not taught left-wing dogma, but instead taught about patriotism? Well, let me come clear about my position. Um, I, I sat with Michael Gove to write the current national curriculum for history. I also advised Margaret Thatcher and John Major on previous national curriculums, so I probably have more experience of writing history national curriculums than anybody in the country. And although the, I don't think the government took enough notice of what I said, they keep calling me back to advise them. Let me tell <laughs> Let me, let me tell you something about the current national curriculum. So are you ready for a shock? Yes. Here we go. Okay, and I wrote it, so I should know what I'm talking about, though I didn't agree with it. I was one of the people who was behind it. Uh, there's no requirement to teach any single specific event or personality from British history in the current national curriculum. Let me, re let me say that again. There's no requirement to teach any specific event or personality. So you don't have to teach Churchill. don't have to teach World War Two. No <laughs> Nelson or Wellington. None of that's compulsory. No what history the, required then, necessarily. Well, what it says, you've got to teach British history, but you, you really can choose what you like. They recommend certain topics. So they say, for example, they say uh, th these are non-statutory uh, topics which you might want, to, you might want to teach. And that does include World War II, but it's voluntary. And it, actually, we did a survey to find out what, sub what topics teachers are choosing to teach on British history in, for example, the Victorian in the 19th century. And what we found is that, aside from Queen Victoria, the most popular topic appears to be Jack the Ripper. And that, that's <laughs> the best. If you, if you go onto the internet and put, on the, put in TES, Times Education Supplement, you'll see hundreds of model lessons on Jack the Ripper. So we're not teaching Nelson, nor Wellington, nor Churchill, nor Gladstone, nor Disraeli, spending a lot of time on Jack the Ripper, because, kids think, because teachers think that's really sensational and exciting. So we are robbing our children of a sense of national identity. I'm not going to blow a trumpet for Donald Trump. I don't think history is a vehicle for teaching patriotism, nor is it teaching a vehicle for teaching self-hatred. And, and, there's, and there's a problem here because we spend a lot of time in schools these days teaching about, for example, um, black history, which is important. But I mean, for example, one of the issues at the moment is some teachers, a lot of teachers say, there were black legionaries in the, in the Roman army which came here, and children don't learn about that. Well, they should learn about that, but they should also learn that those black legionaries were here in Britain as an army of occupation, enforcing enslavement, and that we had an African emperor, Septimius Severus, who died in York and who ordered the total extermination of everybody north of Hadrian's Wall. That's, a, that's the other side of black history. So therefore, by all means, teach black history, but don't imagine that black people are different from white people. They're just as good and just as bad, and that's true of slavery. Yeah.